How's it going? Tonight, it's very exciting. We're going to make a meal that is one of my favorites and a recipe that I've been sitting on for quite some time, just waiting to make, and we're going to make it tonight. In the Instant Pot, we're going to make beef stroganoff. All right, to start this recipe out, we're going to set the Instant Pot to saute mode and add in one tablespoon of olive oil. Working in batches, we're gonna add in two pounds of stew meat and brown it on all sides. Once it's brown, we're gonna remove it and set it aside on a plate. When that's removed, we're going to add in one small diced onion and six to eight ounces of sliced mushrooms, along with three cloves of minced garlic and we're gonna saute those until they are almost tender. Then we're gonna add the stew meat back in and we're going to put in one quarter cup of flour. Now we're using whole wheat flour on this to stick to our diet. And we're going to cook this until the flour is brown and the mixture is fully coated. Then we're gonna add in three and a half cups of beef broth and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. We're going to then seal the Instant Pot and we're going to set it on pressure cook for 12 minutes. Once that 12 minutes is up, we're going to manually release the pressure and then we're going to add in 12 ounces of wide egg noodles. I was looked for whole wheat egg noodles. Unfortunately, my grocery didn't have them this time, so we were out of luck for that. So we have regular egg noodles. And we're going to then, again, seal the Instant Pot and we're going to set it on pressure cook for three minutes. Once that three minutes is up, we're going to again manually release the pressure. And then we're going to stir in three quarter cup of sour cream. Now we're going to use yogurt as we always do. And then we're going to salt and pepper to taste. And it should be ready to go. We can serve that with a little bit of parsley as a garnish. And I made up a special batch of homemade honey whole wheat dinner rolls and some honey butter uh, to go along with it. So that's going to be just an added treat. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, serve this up and see what we think. All right, we're ready to give it a try. Victoria doesn't want to try any, so we're going to have it ourselves. Sorry, I'm blinking. My right eye is burning for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I rubbed something in it. Okay, well, let's give this a try. It looks amazing. Smells really good. Got me a chunk of meat and a mushroom and a noodle. Texture of everything is amazing. Need some salt. As usual, I, I make everything with low salt, low sodium stuff, but wow, delicious and beefy in the the, uh, the, the beef cubes in the Instant Potter. Mm. Let's have a quick bite of our yummy whole wheat dinner rolls. Delicious. Well, there you have it. Beef stroganoff in the Instant Pot. It's pretty easy, actually. I didn't have to do much. Um, takes a little while to cook, but not terribly long. Okay, well, I'm going to go eat. You got anything you want to say? Your dinner smells and tastes better than my stupid dinner. All right. On that note, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye.